Ever felt like you're lost in a maze of tech jargon whenever someone starts talking about LLMs, tokens, or models? Well, fear not. We're about to decode the AI glossary in a way that even your grandma can understand. So whether you're a tech whiz or just curious about the future, join us and don't forget to subscribe as we decode the language of AI and make it as easy to understand as ordering pizza from your voice assistant. But hopefully with more accurate results, the ABCs of AI basic terms explained. Let's start with the basics. AI, or artificial intelligence, is all about creating machines that can think and act like humans. But don't worry, we're not talking about Skynet taking over the world yet. Think of it more like giving your computer a brain boost to handle tasks that normally require human intelligence. AI has a few different flavors. Machine learning is like teaching a computer to learn from data, while deep learning is a more advanced form of ML that uses neural networks basically a bunch of interconnected brain cells that process information. Now, if you've ever heard the term AGI, that stands for Artificial General Intelligence. It's the holy grail of AI research, a machine that's as smart as a human in every way. We're not quite there yet, but it's like the ultimate level up for AI. The AI you're likely to encounter today is called Narrow AI, which is designed for specific tasks like recognizing faces or translating languages. It's like having a really smart assistant who's great at one thing, but might struggle to understand a knock-knock joke. The language of large language models, LLMs. Ever chatted with ChatGPT? That's a large language model, LLM, in action. These are AI models trained on massive amounts of text data, giving them an uncanny ability to understand and generate human-like language. LLMs are like language wizards. They can write poems, compose emails, translate languages, even code software. They're the reason your spam filter is so good at catching those Nigerian print scams. But how do LLMs actually understand language? They break down text into smaller chunks called tokens. These tokens can be words, parts of words, or even punctuation marks. Think of them like the building blocks of language that AI can piece together to create meaning. It's a bit like playing with Legos, but instead of building a castle, you're building a conversation. Now, there are different types of LLMs, each with varying levels of complexity. Some are small and focused on specific tasks, while others are massive, like GPT-40 with billions of parameters, capable of performing a wide range of language tasks. Think of them like the Avengers of AI, each with their own unique superpowers. Models, parameters, and training data, the recipe for AI smarts. So we've got these fancy LLMs, but how do they actually become so smart? It's a bit like baking a cake. You need the right ingredients and a whole lot of mixing. For AI, the ingredients are data, and the mixing bowl is the model itself. The model is the architecture of the AI, kind of like a blueprint for how it learns and processes information. Think of it as the brain of the AI, where all the magic happens. Inside the model are billions of parameters. These are like the knobs and dials that get adjusted as the AI learns. The more parameters, the more complex the model can become, but also the more data it needs to be trained on. It's like trying to bake a cake with a million ingredients. You'll need a pretty big oven, the training data is what the AI learns from. It's like feeding it a giant library of information so it can understand language, recognize patterns, and make predictions. But just like humans, AI can learn bad habits if it's exposed to biased or inaccurate data. So it's crucial to make sure the training data is diverse and representative of the real world. Chatbots, your friendly or not so friendly AI companions. Ever chatted with a customer service bot and wondered if there was an actual human on the other end? Well, chances are you were talking to a chatbot, a type of AI designed to simulate conversation. Some chatbots are pretty basic, following a set of pre-programmed responses. Others, like ChatGPT, are far more sophisticated, capable of generating creative text and holding surprisingly natural conversations. But let's be honest, even the best chatbots can have their blonde moments. Like that time a chatbot told a customer to go jump off a bridge. Oops! But chatbots aren't just for frustrating customer service experiences. They can be used for good. There are AI therapists that can help with anxiety and depression, chatbots that can tutor you in math or science, and even chatbots that can write personalized bedtime stories for your kids. The future of chatbots is all about personalization. Imagine a chatbot that looks and sounds like your favorite celebrity or one that has a personality tailored to your interests and needs. It's like having a virtual friend who's always there to chat, help you out, or even just tell you a bad joke. Transformers, hallucinations, and other AI oddities. Okay, we've covered the basics, but AI has some quirkier terms that might make you scratch your head. Don't worry, we'll break them down in plain English. Ever had a chatbot tell you something that's just plain wrong? That's called a hallucination. It's when AI makes stuff up with unshakable confidence. 
It's a reminder that even the smartest AI isn't perfect, and sometimes they just make things up like a toddler telling a tall tale. Another term you might hear is transformer. No, not the robots in disguise. This refers to a type of AI model that's really good at understanding the relationships between words in a sentence, making it ideal for language tasks. It's like having a super-powered grammar nerd as your writing assistant. Then there's prompt engineering. It's the art of crafting the perfect questions or instructions to get the best results out of an AI. Think of it like asking a genie for a wish. You need to be specific, or you might end up with a thousand rubber chickens instead of a million dollars. As AI continues to evolve, we'll likely see even more strange and wonderful terms emerge. But remember, the goal is to make AI more accessible and useful for everyone. So don't be afraid to ask questions, experiment with different tools, and most importantly, have fun with it. Congratulations, you've just graduated from AI Glossary 101. You're now equipped to hold your own in any conversation about artificial intelligence. So go forth and explore this amazing world of technology, and don't forget to share your newfound knowledge with your friends. Have we missed any key AI terms you'd like us to explain? Let us know in the comments below. And if you're hungry for more AI insights, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss an episode. Stay curious.